In this lesson, we'll go through three examples calculating trade discounts. The first question reads, find the net price of an order with a list price of $800 and a trade discount series of 20, 10, and 5. So think of an order that is $800 and we're discounting it three times in series, the first time at 20%, the second time at 10%, and the last time at 5%. Let's go ahead and figure this one out. The first thing that you want to do is write down your base price of $800 and you multiply it by the decimal version of this number. Remember that's a percentage, so to go from a percent to a decimal we divide by 100. Dividing 20 by 100 should get you 0 0.20. Let's go ahead and use our calculator. 800 times 0 0.2 gives us 160. So our first discount is $160. We take this value now and subtract it from the original price of 800. So 160 take away from 800 is 640. Now we apply the next discount at 10%. The decimal version of 10% is 0 0.1 and we'll multiply 640 by 0 0.1. If you do this correctly you should end up with 64. So we'll take away 64 from 640. 640 minus 64 gives us 576. So now we have $576, which we will discount 5% from that. So if we multiply this by 0 0.05, which is the decimal equivalent of 5%, let's use our calculator, 576 times 0 0.05, that gives us a discount of $28.80. So let's write that down. 28 decimal 80. And we'll subtract this now from 576. So 576 minus the previous computation, $547.20. 547 decimal 20. So by applying this trade discount in series, we only pay $547.20. The next question is interesting, and you probably thought about it as I was doing question one. If the item has three discounts, let's say 20, 10, and 5, like in our previous example, can you add them together and apply a 35% discount? Well, let's find out. The previous answer gave us $547.20. Let's apply a 35% discount to 800. So I'll take my base price of 800 and multiply it by 0.35. That's a discount of 280. So let's subtract that number from 800 and we get 520. Huh. So that tells us that you can't simply add up the trade discounts to find the total discount because as you can see there's a discrepancy. Let's move on to question 3. Use the single discount equivalent to calculate the trade discount on a $3,200 lawn tractor with a discount series of 30, 20, and 10. What they're asking here is the exact same thing as they asked in question one, except they want it done in all in one step. Interestingly, rather than doing it in steps, you can find the complement of each of these percentages. So the complement of 30%, you take 100 minus 30, the complement of that is 70%, which as a decimal is 0.7. You do this for all three of the discounts. So 100 minus 20 is equal to 80%, and the decimal version of that is 0.8. And finally, 100 minus 10 gives us 90%. The decimal version of this number is 0 0.9. Now, you multiply all of these together. So 0 0.7 times 0 0.8 times 0 0.9 gives us the following number. And on some calculators, you should see this. Multiplying that now to the base value of 3,200, 3,200 gives us a discount of 1,612.80. So let's write that down. That's the discount. Subtracting that from 3,200 gives us the final value that you pay of 1,587 and 20 cents. 1,587, 20 cents. And there you have it. That is how to calculate trade discounts 
in series.